Hello everybody and welcome back to my kitchen. We are getting started here. I'm showing you guys a little peek of what it's looking like. If you guys are following along with my Instagram, you've probably seen a couple of sneak peeks that kind of give you a better idea of how things are coming along. My friend Marissa, she called them my thirst trap pictures because I'm like just giving a little bit, but not enough to like give you a full idea of how everything is looking. So I cannot wait to take you guys all on a home tour as soon as it's all ready. We are also trying to plan some housewarming parties, but we also can't stop inviting people over. Part of me is like, nobody's gonna come to our housewarming party if they've all seen our house <laughs> in shambles, basically. As you can see, things look nice behind me, but of course, everything behind the camera is a total mess. And so <laughs> my stepmom, she actually brought over her mom recently while we were out of town and we didn't know that they were gonna be coming, but her mom really wanted to see the house. And so they were kind of like walking around looking through the windows and Amy looks through windows and she's like, oh my gosh, Kristen needs help. <laughs> it's true. I probably do need help. It's just a lot of work, you know, it's a lot of work trying to organize this house and take care of my kids and do YouTube and like, you know, cook all the meals and everything. Okay. It's just a lot. It's a lot of work to maintain a house generally and then if you add like everything all the construction all of the trying to find new places to put things it's like we've got more than enough room for certain things and not enough room for other things i don't know if y'all have moved you know how it is anyway that's how things are going in that realm you know posting thirst trap pictures and not cleaning my house and trying to record videos in the meantime. Thank you to everybody who responded to my video last week oh my gosh i was just blown away by you guys' support and thank you for understanding us, you know? And uh, again, like I said, there's so many misconceptions about what YouTube is like. There's also misconceptions about like how much money we make on YouTube. It's like nothing, y'all. It's, it's real. It's like hardly a part-time job. <laughs> but because I love it, I love thrifting and I love being part of this community, I'm so glad to do it with you and to share the things that we find. So yesterday we went to Omaha and we ran into an awkward amount of time where we had about an hour and a half between when we had to pick up my car from the shop and we had a friend's birthday party. In order to keep us from having to drive both of our cars all around the city, it just so happened that the most convenient spot to park my car, that it would be right by the interstate and everything was actually at the Goodwill outlet. And y'all, I know, I know that I just did a Goodwill outlet video, like a double decker Goodwill outlet video, but we have another one. <laughs> So, and I know you guys love these, so whatever. I, I don't know why I'm worrying so much about having like so much variation in my content when y'all just want the thrift hauls, let's be honest. So, okay, so this is Josh's first time going to the Goodwill outlet. He had never been before. He's seen my videos before, but I mean, he knows just as much as you guys do. <laughs> I really thought that he was gonna be like, who is, who is my wife? What is she doing here? Why? <laughs> Why are we here? I think that it started out that way. I don't even know if I should say this, but I'm just going to say it. One of the first items that he came across was an adult toy, which I've never. <laughs> I have never, I don't even want to describe what it was. I have never found an adult toy in the Goodwill outlet. Yeah, okay, I'm getting hot because I'm getting so uncomfortable talking about this, but I can't believe that my poor husband in his very first trip to the Goodwill Outlet, in the first bin that he got went into, found this thing just laying there. Oh my gosh. Oh, it like almost brings tears to my eye. That poor man. He's like with our daughters too. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> so at first he was like, meh. You know, but uh, I'm not gonna lie. We actually had to leave to get to our neighbor's house. We actually went to our other neighbors that are right by our little blue house that we used to live in. And we went and we visited them. It was so weird not being able to walk into my, my like my own house. It's not my own house anymore, you know, but I was just like, that's my front door and I can't even walk through it. Anyway, so we actually needed to get over to our neighbors to go visit them. And Josh was just taking forever to get out of there because he was so just amazed by the things that we were finding. And so he actually really got into it, I'll say. So let's go get started with our stop at the Goodwill outlet 
and I will show you after what we found. Alright, so starting out, we found some cute pants. Josh was actually the one that found these, and there was this really cool Illinois shirt that I thought about buying, but it looked a lot like some of the other pieces that I had been finding recently, so I decided to leave that one behind. skirt was also really cute but honestly I just don't ever wear pencil skirts like this and it was a little bit short so I decided to also leave that one behind. These I was obsessed with. I picked up the two of them at once thinking that it was one big heavy picture but then I realized you'll see later on that it was actually two pictures so I'll show you the other one here in just a sec. Dad's favorite books, you should show it to him. I found this little doll and I thought she was cute, but I didn't just I just realized that her arm broke off. Pretty though. I was so excited when I found these shoes. These are the leather Harajes that I've been looking for. I told you guys I didn't love the two tones of the ones that I had and I was looking for ones that were one single tone and so you know that I picked these up but I did forget to put them in the haul. I also loved these boots for Rosie but I could not find the opposite one and it looks like somebody else had it in their cart because I saw them with both of them later on at checkout. Yeah, it was cool. Got a little bit sucked in. Don't know the rules, so I probably broke a few of the rules. <laughs> but I think they always expect at least a couple of people to break the rules. Yeah. How do you know? They don't even have them posted. Well, I think people get like nervous about going there because they're like, I don't know the rules. But I mean, everybody starts out not knowing the rules, and if you break them, they'll just let you know. Yeah. But There's yeah, a lot of people there. A lot. It's a Saturday afternoon, so it's usually pretty packed. Yeah. But I'll, I'll wash my hands. Before I, before I eat. That's a good idea. All right, well, we are going to go grab some lunch and then hang out with some friends today. So we're going to keep moving on with our day, but I'll show you guys what all we found later. Okay, and Rosie wanted to show you her little doll that she has. It came with a whole set, but my dad said I could only look at one, so I'm doing that right now. I kind of just picked those up, not thinking much of them, but... Um, Rosie was really excited about it, so she wanted to show you guys. 
So <laughs> I'll start with the first item. He picked out a couple, I'll show you the couple things that he got. He got kind of into it and he picked up a couple items. These, okay y'all, I don't even know why he got these. I would not have picked these up, but he was like convinced that he could clean them up, but there are these vans. These are not in good condition. <laughs> He's like, no, babe, I can clean them up. Like, they're cool. And I will say, Josh is like part of the Vans cult. Like, I can't stop him from collecting Vans. Like, he just loves them. And so I think he really liked the color of these. We'll throw them in the wash. We'll see how they turn out. But I don't even, I probably shouldn't even, you guys, don't, you guys don't care about these things. Like, why am I even showing them to you? He got those. Ooh. Sorry, I had a pile of things over here. And then right before I started filming, I just completely knocked it all over. So now things are very far from me. But he also just got these pair of chinos, which again, he's like, I don't know if they fit me or not. And I'm like, babe, if they don't fit you, like if you don't think that they're gonna fit you, then don't, don't buy them. But he did. Oh, and also I've been saying this whole time that I thought that the Goodwill bins was $1.37. I actually looked yesterday and said $1.27 at our Goodwill per pound. So, I mean, he picked these up. They're not bad. They're Duke belted chinos. Anyway, he got them. So even though they're gonna be a little bit too big for him. He also found this pair of Zara pants for me. So these are a size small um, and they're kind of cool. They're pleated on top and I'll probably try these on for you guys. Here are these Zara pants. Um, I love them. Honestly, I love where they hit me at the calf. They've got like little pleats in the front and they've got like little pleats down here at the bottom. I don't know. I think they're cute. I think I'm going to make them work. Next, I did find this sweet little top. At first, I thought it was a dress for like a baby or something. But then the more I looked at it and the width of the top, the more that I think that it's actually like a three-year-old shirt or something. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this a shirt or is this a dress for a baby? <laughs> I asked Ruby if she liked it and she said that she loved it. And so we went ahead and picked this up for her. It's just that nice, sweet little vintage cotton. And then... For me, the last thing that I found was, again, I just got these from the bin, so I haven't like washed them or anything yet, but they are this pair of linen pants from Sigrid Olsen. I don't know what that brand is. It doesn't look particularly high end or anything. Anyway, but I just thought they were cool. They're kind of like wide leg size medium. So we'll see if they fit. I don't know. I always keep size mediums though, because with all of my pregnancies and postpartum, like I always need bigger clothes anyway. So I'll go ahead and try those on and keep those for that time of my life. Okay, everybody. And here are these white linen pants that I found. I got some uh, Marilyn Monroe going on over this vent right here. Um, but I don't know. I think that they could work. Like I said, they're a size medium. So there is a little bit of gapping but I don't know, I would like to be able to wear them super high-waisted. I think that this is how they're intended to be worn, but I don't know, maybe I could uh, take them in a little bit because I really do like them. Man, and for like a dollar or whatever they wound up being, probably less, absolutely worth it. You guys, sometimes I pick up things not because they're like glamorous, but because we actually need them for our house. And I know that I've picked this up before, from the Goodwill outlet and I picked up another one. So here you go. I found another queen size down comforter. So we actually recently received a new mattress. We're gonna put that in our playroom with some of the other beds in there for guests and everything. So I wanted to have a nice feather duvet for that bed for whenever we have guests stay in there. Or honestly, I'm not even sure if Ruby has a feather comforter on hers. So let me check hers and make sure that she's got a nice feather one too. And she might have like a synthetic one. And so maybe I'll move the synthetic one to the guest bed and then put the actual feather one on hers. Either way, this is going to be washed and used in one of the rooms upstairs. If you're excited to find this again for $1.27 per pound. I mean, it's not light, but I'm sure it's way cheaper than if we were to buy it from even a, a regular thrift store. At the Goodwill outlet, if you do have something that's a little bit heavy, you can ask for a better price for it. Um, and maybe I should have asked that, but sometimes they don't give it to you. Sometimes they still go per pound. Another thing that I do is I got a towel stand. So I don't need a new towel stand, rack? What do you call this, a towel thing? Anyway, I'll show you the one that I have. It's right over here. So one thing that I love about 
thrifting is that it allows you to replace things that you have that are functional and fine, but replace them with things that are actually like thoughtfully made and probably more likely to last. I did buy this new towel holder. It is made of like a solid piece of wood, as you can see. It's just one piece of wood and also the tones are a lot closer to the tones of wood that I like to use in our house. So before we had this one, which still has our towels on it. Not that it's bad, but it's made of bamboo. And when I first got our kitchen supplies 10 years ago, when we first got married, we got bamboo everything just because I loved the wood tones and bamboo is way cheaper, I think, to manufacture than regular wood. And so at that time, everything was bamboo. But if you see the two next to each other, you can see that this one is just a, a better quality. So we're gonna be going with this one and gonna be letting go of this one. All right, next I found this really nice leather belt. So I really hate seeing these go to waste. This one is a little bit big for me. I'm considering maybe even cutting it down and just trying to put another hole in it. I suggested it for Josh, but y'all, I'm not gonna lie. He literally weighs about twice as much as I do. And so I don't know <laughs> if this would quite fit him. So anyway, but I could not leave a perfectly worn leather belt in the Goodwill bins. Next, I found this little book. I honestly had not planned on bringing this home, but Ruby had grabbed it just to look at it while she was in the cart. And I just thought that it had precious illustrations. I love things that have depictions of like classic homes and it weighed next to nothing. So I figured it didn't hurt to bring it home and just have another little book for the girls to look through. Coming up on my favorite item. First, I found this. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I can get this in the in the frame. I found this picture and it's not in great condition. You guys can see that it's kind of worn. Even the frame is not great, but I did like the colors of it. You guys know that I love these muted tones. It's not exactly the style that I'm looking for for our home, but you guys, I'm just gonna be honest with you. For a long time, I had been decorating my house in more of like a vintage Americana look. And I still love that look. I know I talked to you guys about how I wanted our porch room to look not rustic, but just more like, I just wanted it to look like kind of cabiny, kind of like seventies, you know, I don't know how to describe it. Just like a little bit more contemporary with some like mid-century pieces and whatnot. It's not that I don't like that style anymore. This is probably a mid-century piece. It's just not what I'm going for. However, I still have a lot of decor that is during that time. And so I don't wanna just completely throw it all out because I still like a lot of it, but I am going to try to make our main living area is a little bit more traditional. And then other areas like our guest room or the porch room are gonna be probably a little bit more um, vintage Americana. So I figure I can put this either in our porch room or in the guest room. My guess is that it'll probably wind up going into the guest room because I've worked on the gallery wall already in the porch room and I have yet to do the gallery wall in the guest room. And so this will probably wind up going in there. Again, it's not like a great piece or anything. It's just, but it has nice colors, right? And you can't let it go to waste. Okay, so moving on to my favorite item that I found. It was these two pictures, you guys. I don't know how these made it to the Goodwill outlet. There's this one, which is a little boy riding a horse. It says Hatford Mill Constable. It looks like Constable is the name of the artist. So there's this one. And then I picked it up just thinking that it was the one, but it was two. And then there's this one too, which is a sweet little boat. This one is called Boat Building at, Har at Hatford. Okay, so they're both in a place called Hatford. But y'all, look at this. Aren't these so cool? These are definitely going to be going into our parlor room. I love the frames, the green, the prints, the colors. Like this is exactly where, where I said the other print wasn't exactly what I was going for. This is exactly what I'm going for. And I could not believe that I found these at the outlet. So very excited about that. Okay, so I forgot to include this in my footage that I took a little bit ago, but Rosie found this bag of corn husk dolls, and y'all, I was just planning on leaving them because I was like, how good of condition can they be in? But you guys, look, I like, 
I just, I was ready to pass them up, but she has been loving these. She takes them in the car with her every day. There's like, can you see the little umbrella on this one? They're all so thoughtful. I had not even like thought to even open it up and take a look at them. And honestly, this is my first time seeing some of them, but they're just like precious. I can't even, she has a few of them that she took with her today with her dad. But I just thought I would show you the ones that were left. They are just, there's a little stool that she's sitting on with a little baby. Y'all, can you even look? Oh my gosh. One that she has right now, hold it, like pushes this little stroller with this little baby in it. I did not expect these to be so sweet and thoughtful. So I thought y'all would like to see these too. So look, it's me. There's like a little pair of clogs and a little baby basket. Dude, our girls, our girls love anything tiny. So anyway, these were the perfect thing for her to find. And because they're corn husks, they weigh like negative pounds. So, oh, I also forgot to say that the whole haul from today or from yesterday cost $27. So it was actually kind of more than I thought it was going to be. But I think it was the comforter and the fact that the comforter was like a little bit heavier. But anyway. Thought I would let you know. All right, everybody. Well, that is it for our Goodwill Outlet haul today. Thank you so much for joining me. And Josh, he's so precious. You see him like trying on these little things and just looking around. He had such a great time. And I was thankful to be able to share that area of my life with him because I've never shared my Goodwill Outlet stuff with him in the past. And so it was kind of fun to have that experience all together, even though the girls were crazy. I'm gonna get moving today. We've got registration for school in a little bit, and I've still got to get this place cleaned up, get this edited. Anyway, y'all, so if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, hit that bell so that you guys are able to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And until then, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.